So moving on, as you said, we've got Benziola taking on Gavin Landers. Landers last night had a 12-2 technical fall over Ben. And as you said, that one was tight last night with Dynasty winning 36-32. And already there's been some changes happening with one we just saw. Instead of a fall, we saw a tech fall. So going to be some points on the board for Dynasty after that one. And now already Landers getting back to work, working on another tech here on Benziola. And he's and already got two. Ziola did a good job there. The lock was in momentarily, able to flatten his ha flatten his hips in that, excuse me, and break the lock around the gut. A little elbow duck action, looking for a body lock was Ziola, but Landers just gonna come right back with that a dump, dump and pick up two more. <laughs> that dump was pretty. And now it'll be a 4-0 advantage now for Gavin Landers. More impressive was, was Landers' ability to get his hips back and break that lock because you know, the, that elbow duck action really put him in kind of a you know, dangerous position of having his hips in, getting body locked. Absolutely. So being able to recover, come back and score on the dump, and now he's right back to action in on a leg on, on Ziola. Ziola locked in the crotch. He's got to step. You see, his foot's stuck in the middle. He has to step. He's got to get that foot. If he's going to cross up there, he's got to get that foot back around the two feet into the near side where he could really lift up and use it as a drive foot. Yeah, and Let, you see a lot of guys get their foot stuck there, and they're content to just keep it there instead of trying to force it back up underneath the hip. Well, it's because it's as an offensive guy, you still feel strong there, but defensively speaking, trapping the foot there or, or getting your leg out uh, in front of it is the way to defend that mm -hmm. most efficiently. It's just from the offense side of it, you still do feel strong, but in reality the way you really are going to get it to go is stepping back around. Right back oh, that shuck nice. is pretty. Nice shuck there by Ziola. Put some points on the board for him. Cuts that lead in oh, half. Oh, that gut is tight. Two. He's elbow to elbow on that grip and almost had Landers going as the hips were up high. But nothing doing for him. We're going to bring, bring him back up to their feet. 4-2 in favor of Landers. Just about a minute to go here in the first period. Trying that shuck once again was Ziola. This time Landers holds on to that elbow. And he comes back. Single, cut, double. Swims, picks There's up two on the exposure. Low leg cradle look here. He'll get exposure there. And down to 35 seconds to work. And fall going to be confirmed as Iola was flattened out on his back. And fall here for Landers. So 9-5 now in favor of Carnage on the team score. So funnily enough, if you look at DeSalvo's finish and Landers' finish, you just flip the finishes. The yep. score is basically in the same predicament as it was at this point last night when these two teams met. Now, this is where Dynasty's lineup starts getting scary. This is where you start getting the boogeyman coming out at night. You get Dominic Monoretto, former world's champion, ranked number three in the country at 106 pounds. You know, and you and I were talking about uh, him specifically, and I, I mentioned it in my uh, commentary for the semifinals. If anyone on the stream is a boxing fan, I, I, I compare Monoretto.